not possible. It's a race we have to run. It's not about winning the prize. So let me change that word and put obtaining the prize. I got to obtain the reward. I don't just want to be saved and make it in. No, it's not about that. I got to work for the Lord. So the moment you just stand at the, at the starting block and he sounds the gun and said, go ahead. It is time to start serve. Along the way, you're going to meet up on some hills. You're going to meet up on some hills. But for you to make it, you got to climb. And you got to believe God. You got to run with obedience. If the word is the rule of the race, if you disobey the word, you're going to read the finish line, but you're going to be disapproved. You're going to be disqualified. So get the rules straight. It's not about you, it's not about me anymore. Sometimes you're running, you feel tired. But because you know I got to finish it, you just got to say, Lord, if I can just go another day. If I go another day, I need to go another day. Because it's never about me. Too many times we think it's about me. It is not about you. So do all you can to me. It is not about me. Paul said, for the elect's sake. For the elect's sake. I suffer all things for the children of God's sake. Say, if you do not have a womb to suffer for the people of God, do not start this race. And if you are in the race, change your perspective. Change your mind. Run! But you got to run in such a way with a purpose when you don't feel like coming to church, run in such a way. When the devil is fighting you, run in such a way as to obtain the price. And if you have Jesus in your mind, and if you understand what this race is all about, even when you feel like giving up, you will press, press, until you reach the price. May God bless you tonight. And may God keep you. May it shine upon you and give you peace in Jesus Christ's name.